the main project I was hired to work on by Subal was called the Item Attributes Project, which meant helping establish a more sustainable and long-term database for the items that Subal reprocesses and sells. As a PhD tech intern, I work on a chatbot that answers questions about Kotlin. I also automate a business process for change approval work. And currently, I'm working on an IoT project that includes gathering and analyzing temperatures in different um, depth of water. We've been really lucky through this internship that um, we've been able to visit all the other companies involved. Um, we've been able to go to Kotlin Institute. Um, and see their facilities there. Um, they're a leading researcher in the aquaculture space. Um, I've also been able to visit factories at New Zealand King Salmon and Sea Lords. Um, and Sea Lords we even got to have a tour around their brand new fishing vessel. I think it's pretty interesting and different culture from my country. And uh, people around here are very helpful and very kind to me. Uh, this isn't an internship based in a coal mine. You, know, you, you, get a, you have some good days where you, where you work everything out and everything goes well. And you have some days where you know you just kind of learn new things, and it's really interesting the diversity of what you're doing and how the culture of the workplace fits in with that. Advice for interns: I'd say make sure you ask lots of questions and learn from people around you. Uh, make a good impression. So you're only here for a few months, uh, and there's plenty of networking opportunities. So just make a good impression where and when you can. So if you're lucky enough to get an internship under the Nelson Tasman Innovation Neighbourhood, whether it be with Qualcomm, C-Law, King Salmon or Datacom, I would say make the most of these connections with the companies within NTIM as these will provide you with many opportunities in the future.